The megafauna era was a time when Earth was home to some of the largest and most fascinating animals that ever lived. From massive mammals to gigantic reptiles, the megafauna period was filled with a diverse range of creatures that ruled the planet. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through time to discover seven of the craziest and least known animals from this period. Get ready to be amazed! Let's take a closer look at the Calicotherium. This bizarre-looking herbivorous mammal was named after the shape of its claws, which were similar to the chalices used in religious ceremonies. These claws were its primary tool for gathering food, allowing it to grasp and pull down branches to eat leaves. But the Calicotherium's claws were not its only unique feature. It also had a sloping back and a horse-like head, making it look like a strange hybrid of several different animals. Its unusual appearance has fascinated paleontologists for years and has led to many debates about its classification and evolutionary history. Despite its strange appearance, the Calicotherium was well adapted to its environment during the Miocene epoch. It was a large and powerful animal that could use its claws for self-defense against predators. And its herbivorous diet allowed it to thrive in a variety of habitats, from forests to grasslands. Today, the Calicotherium is long extinct, but its strange appearance and unique adaptations continue to fascinate scientists and enthusiasts alike. Its legacy serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life that once existed on our planet. Now, let's explore the Entelodont, also known as the Hell Pig. This massive pig-like animal was one of the most fearsome predators of its time, living in North America, Europe, and Asia during the Oligocene and Miocene epochs. The Entelodont was the size of a grizzly bear, and its powerful jaws contained sharp teeth that it used to hunt and scavenge. With its omnivorous diet, it could eat just about anything it could catch, including small mammals and even other Entelodonts. Even though its pig-like appearance, the Entelodont was not closely related to modern pigs. Instead, it was a member of the extinct family of me Sony chids, which were an early group of carnivorous mammals. The Entelodont's unique combination of pig-like features and powerful predatory adaptations make it one of the most fascinating and mysterious animals of the megafauna. Although the Entelodont has been extinct for millions of years, its legacy lives on in the many fossils that have been discovered and studied by paleontologists. These fossils have helped us learn more about the incredible diversity of life that existed during the Oligocene and Miocene epochs and the complex interactions between predators and prey that shaped the evolution of these ancient ecosystems. Let's now delve into the Andrusarchus, a giant carnivorous mammal that lived in Asia during the Eocene epoch, around 45 million years ago. This animal was about the size of a rhinoceros and had a massive skull with sharp teeth. The Andrusarchus was one of the largest land mammals of its time, and its massive size made it a formidable predator. It is believed to have fed on a variety of prey, including other large mammals and perhaps even early ancestors of whales and dolphins that lived in the shallow seas of the Eocene. And yet its impressive size and predatory adaptations, the Andrusarchus is shrouded in mystery. There are very few fossil remains of this animal, and its exact relationship to other mammals is still debated by paleontologists. Some scientists have suggested that it may have been related to modern-day hoofed mammals, while others have proposed that it may have been a distant relative of whales and dolphins. Although these uncertainties, the Andrusarchus remains one of the most fascinating animals of the megafauna, its massive size and predatory adaptations make it a testament to the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet, and its story serves as a reminder of the many mysteries that still await discovery in the fossil record. If you are liking our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's explore the Dinotherium, a prehistoric elephant that lived in Africa, Europe, and Asia during the Miocene epoch, around 23 million years ago. This animal was characterized by its long, downward-curving tusks that it used to strip bark off trees to access the nutrient-rich cambium layer beneath. Despite its elephant-like appearance, the Dinotherium was not closely related to modern-day elephants. Instead, it belonged to a distinct family of prehistoric proboscideans that evolved their own unique adaptations. The downward-curving tusks of the Dinotherium were its most distinctive feature, and they likely evolved as a specialized tool for foraging. The Dinotherium was one of the largest animals of its time, and its massive size likely made it immune to most predators. However, it is believed to have been hunted by early human ancestors, who may have targeted the animal for its meat and tusks. Like many other animals of the megafauna, the Dinotherium went extinct millions of years ago. However, its legacy lives on in the many fossils that have been discovered and studied by paleontologists. 
These fossils provide important insights into the evolution and diversity of life on our planet and serve as a testament to the incredible adaptations that have allowed organisms to thrive in different environments over time. The Megatherium, a giant sloth that lived in South America during the Pleistocene epoch, around 4.5 million years ago, was a remarkable animal that stood out for its enormous size and unique adaptations. This animal was as large as an elephant and weighed up to 4 tons, making it one of the largest land mammals that ever lived. Its massive claws were its most distinctive feature, and they were used to grab onto trees and pull itself up to reach leaves and branches. Regardless its size and fearsome appearance, the Megatherium was a herbivore that fed mainly on plant material. Its specialized claws and elongated limbs allowed it to reach vegetation that other animals could not, giving it a unique ecological niche in the South American landscape. The Megatherium went extinct around 10,000 years ago, along with many other large animals of the Pleistocene epoch. However, its legacy lives on in the many fossils that have been discovered and studied by paleontologists, providing important insights into the evolution and diversity of life on our planet. The Megatherium is a testament to the incredible diversity of life that has existed on Earth and serves as a reminder of the many fascinating creatures that have roamed our planet in the past. Its story is a testament to the incredible adaptations that animals can evolve in order to survive and thrive in different environments, and it highlights the importance of understanding the natural history of our planet. Titanoboa is an extinct species of snake that was a dominant predator in the tropical rainforests of South America during the Paleocene epoch. It was an incredible creature, growing to lengths of up to 42 feet and weighing over a ton, making it the largest snake ever known to exist. Despite its massive size, Titanoboa was an agile predator that relied on its strength and stealth to capture its prey, which included giant turtles and crocodiles. It likely hunted by ambushing its prey and then constricting it to death before swallowing it whole. The discovery of Titanoboa was a significant milestone in paleontological research, providing valuable insights into the evolution and diversity of ancient reptiles. By studying its anatomy and behavior, scientists have been able to better understand the ecological and environmental factors that influence the evolution of snakes and other cold-blooded animals. Arctotus, also known as the short-faced bear, was a large bear species that lived in North America during the Pleistocene epoch, between 2.6 million and 11,700 years ago. It was one of the largest terrestrial carnivores of its time, with some estimates suggesting it weighed up to 1,800 pounds and stood over 6 feet tall at the shoulder. The Arctotus was well adapted to hunting large prey, such as bison and mammoths, with its sharp claws and powerful jaw. It also had excellent endurance, which allowed it to pursue prey over long distances. However, it likely had a more omnivorous diet than modern bears, and would have eaten a range of plant material and small animals in addition to large prey. Despite its formidable size and hunting ability, the Arctotus went extinct at the end of the Pleistocene along with many other large mammal species. The cause of this extinction is still debated, but climate change and human hunting are thought to have played significant roles. And that's a wrap on our video on the 7 craziest and least known animals of the megafauna. From the giant sloth to the hell pig, we hope you enjoyed learning about some of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures that once roamed the earth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.